Hi guys, Daz is back with another episode of my top 20 selling comic books of the week. This time it is episode 103 and it's a Christmas Eve special edition. Today I'm going to be discussing the best selling comics on eBay for the week ending the 10th of December 2020. Now since CoverPrice.com came on the scene, they've become a go-to spot for watching eBay trends on comics and they scour thousands of eBay sales to convenient data to spotlight the hottest selling books. As always guys, let's find out if you can beat me because most people normally do. Starting in at number 20 on our list, as of course we always do, is a character that suddenly got hot. This was a character that came out and it came out 2019. And when this character came out, it was pure fire. Then it died down. But there has been a sudden announcement that Naomi is going to be getting her own CW Arrowverse show. And this top 20 is pretty much dominated by Naomi along with Daredevil. Now, the first printing is getting out of the reach for a lot of people. So people are turning to the second printing and that starts off our top 20 this time around, guys. Naomi, issue number one, the second print. There we go, guys. I read issue one, it wasn't a bad read. Brian Michael Bendis is very wordy though. You know, I want to get to the knit and grit, the action. But there was potential. I've got all the early issues, I know that much. Now, that book sold 12 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 269% and a high sale CGC 9.8. Went for a nice $127. Naomi's really picking up again. Now, number 19 on our list is a, a character that is going to be appearing in the MCU and in particular the Hawkeye TV series. And Variety has been reporting that actress Fra Fee is confirmed to appear as the character Kazi, like I said, in the Hawkeye TV show. And her first appearance comes in Hawkeye issue 9. And that comes from 2013. Yeah, this is the first appearance of the clown. The villain speculated for the Hawkeye show. And that is Kazi Kazamerzak, who is a mercenary, okay? What did this book do? Because it already, it has a second printing as well. And that was, it goes for a lot more than this book actually. And that's the blue border. This is the first printing and it sold 22 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 138% and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $125. Personally, if you're gonna invest, I would rather take Hawkeye 9 over a Naomi uh, one second printing for that same sort of money all day long. Uh, what did I pay for this? One pound and 11 pence. Pick this up in Area 51 shop in Bristol. That shot been very good to me. Number 18 on our list. This is a bigger book. This comes from 1999. And uh, it's also just been reported that the actress Florence Pugh, of course, is signed up as Yel Yelena Belova. And we're going to see her first in the Black Widow movie. But next up, we're going to... Following on from that, we're going to see her in the Hawkeye TV show. Yes, yeah, she's coming back. And I think this is a character with a long-term potential. I've picked up three or four copies of this. You know, sometimes a book just keeps falling into your lap. I sold one uh, the other day for about 38 quid. The book in question from 1999, Inhumans, issue number five. Yeah, the first appearance of the second Black Widow, Yelena Belova. What did it do? It sold 13 copies at a seven day trend of plus 280% and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $374.95. Guys, don't overpay for this book because I'm sure you can find them if you dig hard enough. I uh, picked this one up in a charity shop and uh, for £1.50. This is my best copy. Like I said, I picked one up the other day for a tenner. Don't go paying the stupid amounts of money that people are. Um, eventually, it'll come to you. Keep digging. 
number 17 on our list uh, is a a book that I wouldn't mind having. I've picked up a couple of the issues of this series. Number 17 on our list is from Marvel. It comes from 2018. And as you know, guys, everything Star Wars is pure fire at the moment. Of course, the Mandalorian name dropped the character of Grand Admiral Thrawn. Yet we are going to be getting him, I'm guessing, in the Ahsoka TV show. And I think he could be the, the big bad going forward for that Star Wars universe. Of course, his first appearance, Higher to the Empire, issue number one, is skyrocketing beyond belief at the moment. Uh, but number 17 on our list, people are turning to this one. This is Star Wars Throne, issue number one. This is his first solo series. I picked up issues four and six recently and multiple copies of those uh, which is the origin in both four and six and in six is the first meeting between Thrawn and Darth Vader which could be a nice little key. What did this book do? It sold 24 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 164 percent and a high sale raw copy went for $35. Again guys don't overpay for this one. I know it Everybody's rummaging through the dollar boxes at the moment, but uh, I found a load of Thrawn books without really trying to find them. 16 on our list, and this is another Marvel book, and it's just recently come out, and it's an incentive. And I've said it before, I don't get many opportunities to pick up incentives. This book, 16 on our list, is Miles Morales, Spider-Man, issue 21, the Schumacher 1 in 10 variant. And I do like this cover. There we go, guys. Nice one in ten. Let me know, guys. Do you get the opportunity of a lot of these? Because my LCSs are that small that I don't get, in a, especially the one in 25s upwards. So, uh, yeah, just drop a comment in there if you're regularly buying these incentives. I wouldn't mind, but I wouldn't be paying the prices that they're going for. What did it do? It's selling because it's just a great cover and it's pretty hard to find. It sold 46 copies at a seven day trend plus 87 percent and a high sale uh, raw copy. Pretty high grade, though, went for thirty two dollars and sixty two cents. Not bad for a one in ten. Fifteen on our list and uh, is recently come to our knowledge that Deadline is reporting that Peter Dinklage is to star in Legendary's Toxic Avenger reboot. Oh my days. Of course, Peter, Peter Dinklage, uh, he appeared in an X-Men movie. Most probably best known for, um, of course, Game of Thrones. And uh, I liked him in the Elf movie. But uh, <laughs> it's Christmas, why not? Uh, what can I tell you about this book then? Well, keep an eye on his first appearance. And first cover appearance in Marvel Age, issue 98. A lot of people didn't know about this one. But the book number 15 on our list is the first solo series. It is Toxic Avenger, issue number one. And this is the newsstand, guys. The newsstand copy, okay? There we go. Toxic Avenger, issue number one. What can I tell you about its figures? Well, it sold 10 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 431% and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $149. I remember just last year, that book I could have picked up between five and 10. Crazy what moving news will do for it. 14 on our list now, and this is a Marvel book and it comes from 2005. Now, I made a hot comic book alert about the Hawkeye TV series. And recent set leaks confirmed that Hayley Steinfeld is playing the role of Kate Bishop in the Hawkeye Disney Plus series. I showed you some photos of that. Now, days later, Variety officially confirmed her role and reported that she would be joined by several other key Marvel roles, as noted uh, in various reports. Now, her first appearance as Kate Bishop is in this issue. You know it, guys. The book in question, 14 on our list, is a book I turned down a ratty copy once for four uh, for £1 at Birmingham Con. Young Avengers, issue number one. 
That's number 14 on our list, guys. A book that is getting right up there in price. I'm having to make do with the uh, Marvel Legends uh, reprint. And this came with a uh, originally with the figures of Asgardian, Hawkling, Iron Lad, you know, and the Patriot action figures. I only paid 166 for it. And believe it or not, this reprint goes for some coin as well now. Obviously, um, it's a book that is really, really heating up. What did it do? Now, it sold 33 copies. It had a seven-day trend, a plus 125% and a high sale. Uh, CGC 9.8 went for a whopping $405. So number 14 on our list, Young Avengers, issue number one. I showed you, I think, a, a, a reprinted version, the one I've just showed you in my hand, actually. But the difference is the real work McCoy does not have the not for sale, uh, not for resale in the bottom corner. 13 on our list it comes from 1965. Oh, my days, Silver Age. And I'm, I always thought this book had potential. Now, a report has come in that actor Tony Dalton is confirmed to appear as the swordsman in the Disney Plus Hawkeye TV series. Delighted about that. Um, and may, it may not be the cheapest book to obtain right now, uh, but it could be one of those dusty old war books in your LCS. The book in question, number 13 on our list, Avengers, issue number 19. There we go. What a great cover that is. The first appearance of the swordsman, who was Jacques uh, Duquesne, uh, is the origin of Hawkeye as well. Of course, mine's a pence copy, and mine's only mid-grade. Uh, we've got a bit of a corner cr crease up there, but besides that, presents nicely, and I only paid 10 quid for that. And when did I pay for that? In the middle of 2018. What has it done these last few days? Well, it sold 23 copies at a seven day trend plus 218% and a high sale CGC 9.6. Oh my days, with a whopping $2,150. I have seen that book raw on eBay up till now in around about the 25 to 30 pound range. So it's blowing up beyond. Number 12 on our list. And I've said it before, sometimes you just get a great cover that uh, is enough to move a book. And this is one of those instances. The book in question from uh, just now, recently, is Fantastic Four, Road Trip, Issue 1, the Mike Del Mundo variant. And this is a stunning, stunning cover, guys. It's an Invisible Woman model kit cover. I don't know how many of you have seen this one on your travels. That's a beauty. Great, great looking book. Like I say, that is the Del Mundo variant. What can I tell you about that book? Well, it sold 23 copies at a seven day trend, plus 234% and a high sale raw copy went for $20. And we're on to number 11 and the first runner up to the big top 10. Oh my days. This is a big book now, and uh, it is a book that always had the potential. I remember seeing this at a car boot a few years ago for pennies. Now, you will not find it for pennies. Um, Grand Admiral Thrawn, he is coming to the Star Wars Disney Plus shows, like I said, probably in Ahsoka. His first appearance comes from 1995, Star Wars, Heir to the Empire. Number one, what a great book. The first appearance of the Grand Admiral Thrawn was Myth Raw Naroldo. This is always also the first appearance of Mara Jade, uh, the wife of Luke Skywalker in the expanded universe. Now, I think we might see Mara Jade at some point. I don't believe it is going to be the wife of Luke Skywalker, not by any means, but we could see her somehow, I believe. Uh, it's also the first appearance of Joris Carboth. The first appearance of Brook and first appearance of another great character, Talon Carday. Now, talking of Mara Jade, for those of you that didn't know, I also have Heir to the Empire, issue number four. This is her first cover appearance. Okay, just a book to be on the lookout for. But we're talking about Heir to the Empire, issue number one. 
This is a book that is blowing up. Uh, it sold 37 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 115% and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $1,508. Uh, I bought this, the entire run of this, and it ended up, this book costing me £3.95 and uh, it's only mid-grade. It presents nicely on the front, but I got a, uh, a crease on the back cover and I'm, it's, it's colour breaking. So just mid-grade, but I'll, I'll have to be settled for this. Uh, I saw another copy a little while ago for about 30 odd in the shop. Um, why I didn't pick it up, I don't know. But uh, like I say, great, great potential with that book. And Star Wars books is my passion at the moment. It's what I'm hunting down. We are into the top 10, guys. Not doing great so far. I'm sure you're beating me. <laughs> now, um, number 10 on our list. This is a Doctor Strange book, and it comes from 2018. It is a Donny Cates written issue. And it shows uh, Doctor Strange depowered and is forced to, to release and merge with the Void, uh, the alter ego of the Sentry. I picked up uh, Sentry number one. That's a fantastic book with potential. Now, in this issue, Doctor Strange has a rather uh, symbiote look. And many are pointing at this issue as some of the early groundwork that Donny Cates has been building up to, uh, leading into the King is Black. Uh, sorry, King in Black. Of course, I don't pick up new books, so I know very little about this. But the book, number 10 on our list, is Doctor Strange, issue 384. Uh, so it's something added to my radar, for sure. Now, this is the kind of book I would find in a charity shop for 99p. I promise you that. So, what can I tell you about its numbers? Like I say, number 10 on our list, it sold 16 copies. It had a seven-day trend of plus 371%. And a high sale raw copy went for $49.99. Number nine on our list, more Hawkeye. Yes. Why not? I'd love to get his first appearance. Tales of Suspense 57. Um, I told you that uh, Kate Bishop is coming into the Hawkeye show. And along with uh, Kate Bishop comes Pizza. Uh, sorry, Lucky the Pizza Dog. And I showed photos of P uh, Lucky the Pizza Dog. Now, his first appearance comes in Hawkeye issue one from that same series, from Matt, Fra uh, Matt Fraction. Number 11 on our list, uh, sorry, number nine on our list is Hawkeye issue 11. Now, this is the solo story uh, from the point of view of Lucky the Pizza Dog. And this was the 2014 Eisner Award winner for best single issue. If a dog can sell this many books, maybe uh, the world's gone mad. But uh, I found this, and I found it for cheap, so happy days. This book sold 18 copies. It had a seven-day trend of plus 389%, and a high sale raw copy went for $29. I paid £3.18 for this, uh, and that was the 8th of this month in Cardiff. Number 8 on our list. I showed you the second print, guys. Naomi is back. Simple as that. It's a new TV series coming from Ava Duvernay and Jill Blankenship in works at the CW. Like I said, Naomi issue number one is our number eight book on our list. This is her first appearance, the first printing. Uh, it's a premiere issue of an ongoing series by Brian Michael Bendis, introducing Naomi, a seemingly normal girl who has a connection to the DC multiverse. Uh, this was part of the DC Wonder Comics imprint, led by Bendis, directed towards younger audio, uh, readers. It's a nice Jamal Campbell cover. It sold 32 copies, had a seven-day trend of plus 258%, and high sale uh, CGC 9.8 went for $249.99. And we move on to seven on our list, and this is a book I keep finding. We're talking more CW Arrowverse. We are talking John Diggle. I have met uh, David Ramsey, who plays John Diggle. Big guy, real big guy and a nice guy. Uh, got his autograph. Um, he has just been confirmed to be appearing in multiple shows throughout the Arrowverse course. Now, Stephen Amell's Arrow is no longer going. So, what is his first appearance? Well, his first appearance actually comes in Arrow, the spin-off of the TV show Issues 1 and 2, Cameo and First. But his first appearance in continuity comes in Green Arrow, Issue 24 from the New 52 run. And uh, like I say, 
Dickel is going to be coming in at some point as the Green Lantern, a.k.a. John Stewart, you know, uh, John Diggle, John Stewart. So it was alluded to in the crossover, wasn't it? This book sold 24 copies at a seven day trend of plus 367% and a high sale raw copy went for $50. It is a book I keep finding. I paid £1.30 for this copy and uh, I keep finding them in around about the pound range. Uh, I paid, by the way, I paid £3.50 for that. I think that was the day it came out. Number six on our list, we're sticking with Naomi. It is a book I sold just the other day to one of my uh, subscribers. And it was uh, Naomi issue one, the final printing, the third printing. And uh, like I say, a book that I sold, I sold about six quid, seven quid, something in that range. This is your book. That is the final printing of Naomi issue one. Do I wish I'd kept it? Well, it was one of them. If you've got the first printing, I don't really see the point in having the second and third, but it is what it is. Uh, this uh, third printing is more readily available, hence why it's so high on our list. It sold 35 copies, had a seven day trend of plus 268% and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $139.99. Now sticking with Naomi, number five on our list guys is issue number one of course to Naomi, but this is the Lupacino variant, uh, a book that again I could have had, I've seen this in the past, I wish I grabbed it now, but that's your book, guys. For me, though, when it comes to a first appearances, I always like the regular or A cover. That seems to be where the money is long term. What did it do? It sold 33 copies at a seven day trend of plus 333% and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $199.95. Number four on our list. I spoke about this book in prior. I talked about the new stand to uh, Toxic Avengers issue number one from 1991. Number four on our list is the uh, direct edition. And like I said, Peter Dinklage is coming into the film. This book is uh, selling massive amounts. Here's a book, Toxic Avengers issue number one, the direct edition. Like I say, normally the new stand is worth more, but not in this particular instance it sold 79 copies massive amount a seven day trend of plus 342 percent and a high sale cgc 9.8 went for 225 dollars number three on our list i said daredevil was going to hit hard and here it comes it's all about now apparently electra becoming daredevil and it was the last page reveal of daredevil issue 25 that is really stoking the fires personally i wouldn't invest money into this at the end of the day, Daredevil's Daredevil. Electra being Daredevil doesn't mean diddly squat to me, but people like it. The book in question number three on our list, Daredevil issue 25, the Lashley uh, Nullified variant. And that is number three on our list. Here it comes. Whoa. Let's get him back. There we go, guys. That is number three, pretty sweet cover. But again, I certainly wouldn't overpay for that. What can I tell you about that book? Well, it sold uh, 107 copies, mental. Uh, at a seven day trend of plus 501% and a raw copy, high sale went for $62. Number two on our list, we're sticking with Daredevil all the way, guys. It is the one in 25 incentive. This comes from Salvador La Roca. Oh my days, this book is pure fire at the moment. And uh, I don't even think it's that great a cover. It's okay. There's your book number two on our list, guys. What numbers has it been putting out? Well, it sold 65 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 856% and a raw copy, get ready for it, went for a high sale of $195. Oh my days. So we're there, we're at number one on our list. We've been riding the wave of Daredevil and it's taken number one spot. It is Daredevil issue 25, the regular cover. It is where Elektra becomes Daredevil. That is your number one, guys. Pretty sweet cover. If I can find that for cover price, 
or snag one for a flip probably because I, I don't see a lot in it long term. That's it. What did it do? Forgot to tell you. <laughs> when it sold a massive 355 copies, which I think could be a record. That's insane stuff. Uh, it had a seven day trend of plus 904% and a high sale raw copy went for $81. Though it's dropped now roughly to around about 44. Oh, wow. How would you pay $81 for that sort? Well, you can pick up Silver Age Daredevil, I don't know. But that's it guys, that is a wrap. Let's see how many I got, because it wasn't that many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven for me. That's it, that's Dazzy done. Uh, happy Christmas to everybody. Have a great time, have a great new year. Please like and subscribe and keep in that comic community because what a fantastic community. It is the one bright spot carrying us through, isn't it? In this terrible times. Bye and have a great one.